My starting point in this book is to say we in the West believe in something. There is a core ideology despite all the complexity. The best term for it is secular humanism. It means universal human rights, equality and so on. And of course this ideal is expressed in non-religious terms. Although this is our common creed, we avoid thinking about it. What sort of thing is it? Where does it come from? Does it just come naturally to human beings or is it a particular tradition? Our culture prefers to see it as just natural. To see it as a tradition might, me might lead one to see that it gradually emerges from another tradition, from Christianity. And secular thinkers don't want to face up to that. So I tell the story of how secular humanism arises from Christianity. To put it simply, early modern humanism is an offshoot of Christianity, or a mutation of it. Enlightenment thinkers were mostly religious rationalists, hugely influenced by reformist Protestantism. This is the origin of humanism, whether it calls itself atheist or agnostic. Nothing comes from nothing, one could say, to adapt King Lear. So the shared values that we affirm in the West derive from Christianity. Now, if that's not a strong argument for Christianity, I don't know what is. So why don't Christians make this argument more effectively? Well, because the whole issue of how Christianity relates to secular humanism is very tricky. Christians fear seeming like the wet cheerleaders of secular humanism. They prefer posing as its tough opponents. For years, Christianity has been on the back foot, unsure how to affirm its affinity with secular humanism without seeming to sell out. The solution, I suggest, is for Christians to take a cunningly ambiguous approach to secular humanism. We must both affirm it as the right public ideology and criticise it as a limited worldview. It can't tell us why we should seek the good of all humanity. Its vision is derivative from something else. In a sense, it's a fuller universalism, but it's thinner. I'm offering a new account of the relationship of Christianity and secular humanism. They're two halves of the same vision, two sides of the same coin. One image I use is this. The thin universalism of secular humanism is the proper icing on the thick religious cake. That's my attempt to have my cake and eat it. Please read the book. It's called God Created Humanism, The Christian Basis of Secular Values.